Google ads can be expensive. And if you're just starting out, let's say you just launched an account, you don't know if you're going to pay $50 for a click or 50 cents for a click. That lack of information might not allow you to properly budget even if you're just trying to test to see if it can work. And so in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how you can estimate the cost per click that you're actually going to pay once you have a Google Ads campaign up and running. The good news is you don't have to use some third-party tool and pay a subscription service. The information is actually right under your nose inside of Google Ads for free. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how you can access and use the Google Ads Keyword Planner inside of Google Ads. If we haven't met yet, my name's Scott Redgate. I'm an online marketing coach. And if you wanna save money once your Google Ads account is up and running, make sure to grab my free PPC cost-cutting cheat sheet. You can get it at scottredgate.com slash cheat sheet, and I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, let's dive in. So there's a lot of things that Google makes difficult inside the Google Ads interface, but one thing that's actually quite easy is being able to find out what your expected cost per click is for the keywords that you're looking to target. So when you are in Google Ads, what we need to do is underneath this tool section, you'll find this option right here for the keyword planner. So simply select that. And then you're gonna have these options up here which say discover new keywords, get search volume and forecast, or organize keywords into groups. So you can use the Google Ads Keyword Planner for more than what we're just doing today. Uh, but if you just wanna get a feel for the cost per click that you're going to end up paying, uh, what we're gonna do is select this get search volume and forecast options. So then you're greeted with this. It says get search volume and forecast, all you need to do is start inputting or pasting in the keywords that are relevant for your business that you're looking to target in Google Ads. So for example, let's say you sell sandals online. Well, I have this list of keywords here, and so I'll paste them in, and then you can select Get Started. And now Google is going to give you a lot of information about the keywords that you just typed in. So they're gonna have the keyword, the average monthly searches for that particular search, how popular these keywords are, and then they'll have information over here, the competition, uh, whether or not you have them in your account. But this is what we wanna key in on right here. This is the top of page bid, low range, and the top of page bid, high range. So for each of the keywords in here that actually have a meaningful amount of search volume, Google will give us the low bid and the high bid. Now, the reason why there is this range is because there's a lot of different factors for what you will actually pay. And so there's a formula in Google Ads, and we won't go into the nitty, nitty gritty with it today, but your ad rank or how you actually appear is the result of your max cost per click and your quality score. And so your quality score is based on things like how good your ad is, how good your landing page is, what your expected click-through rate is of the ad. So if you have a high quality score, you might be able to achieve a cost per click at the end of the day that is closer to the lower range. But if you have a horrible quality score, then expect to pay on the high range. Now, keep in mind, this is not exact. This is ballpark estimates. But if you're creating a Google Ads account and you wanna know, am I gonna be paying 50 cents for a click or am I gonna be paying $50 for a click? This tool will help you get that information so you have a ballpark estimate. So what I like to do once I have this information is download these keywords. And so right here, Google gives you the option to download them into a CSV. And so that's exactly what I'll do. So now that we have the document downloaded to our computer, I'm gonna go into an AI tool and I'm gonna use Gemini, but you could use ChatGPT or you could use Cloud AI or whichever one you prefer. And I'm gonna input a prompt like this. I'm gonna say, here are a list of keywords I'm looking to target in Google Ads. It contains high and low CPC ranges. Can you give me an average for each keyword and an average CPC overall for all keywords? Now, you might have success if you directly upload that document that we just downloaded from Google Ads, but I, I know that these AI tools can stumble sometimes when there's unique formatting in Excel docs or CSV, so I'm actually going to paste in the relevant information into the uh, AI tool. And so I'm gonna take the keyword, the top of page bid low range, and the top of page bid high range, and directly paste that in. And it looks like it pasted it in as a PNG here, and I'm gonna hit submit. So you can see there what it looks like, the information that I pasted in. 
And you could also, if you wanted to, like you could use some Excel formulas to get that information. That's perfectly fine. I just, I'm, I love using AI. It makes life a lot easier and you can get information a lot quicker. And so it's doing exactly what we asked it to do. And so it's coming up with the average CPC here for all the different keywords. And now it's coming up with an overall average CPC. And so the overall average CPC for the list of keywords is $2.04. And then you can scroll through here and see some of the, the information um, for each keyword. Now there is an outlier here because this super broad keyword sandals is coming in at $11.32. So that might be skewing the results here. So you can take a look and Maybe that $2.04 is a little bit high. Like if you exclude Sandals outlier, maybe it comes down to $1.50 or, or something along those lines. But now we have a ballpark idea that if you have an e-commerce business, the average CPC that you are going to come close to hitting. Now again, depending on your quality score and your website and your ads, uh, your average CPC might be a little higher, it might be a little lower, but you now have a ballpark idea so that you can start to budget and plan accordingly. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you wanna learn more about Google Ads, watch this video next.